Hello everyone, Dan of Blake Gamer here with another episode of my St. Louis Cardinals franchise. It's June, so that means it's MLB Amateur Draft time. And here I'm going to take a look at the uh, players I got in the draft. It kind of messed up on me. It didn't show the exact what day the draft was. So when I uh, went ahead and moved ahead, it took me right to the draft, would not let me go back and look at anybody that I scouted or anything. So I decided I knew I needed pitching, so I was gonna just go full pitching in, during the whole draft. It ended up I got a couple of pretty good pitchers. Carlos Munoz, he's 18, he's a potential 89, he's a B rating. And then I got Daryl Startup, who's a 94 potential, he's A, uh, a potential. And then uh, Juan Garlobo, he's a C. Paul Martinez is a C. Josh uh, Galarraga is a, a D. And then Johnny Cooper's a D. So not a terrible draft. I mean, I wish I would have been able to look at all my draft picks, but I really can't be too uh, disappointed when you get a B and A potential starters in the draft. So that'll really help me in the next couple of years. So now we're going to take a look at the standings. As you can see, I'm in first place, which is great. I'm at 34 and 26. It's June 10th. We're uh, half a game up on the Brewers, who are playing really good. And there you got the Pirates at 32 and 26, only a game back. Then the Cubs, they're at 29 and 30. They're they're a team that's coming on at four and a half back. And then you got the Reds, only two games under 500, uh, but they are five games back. So if I can keep this up, I'm 34 and 26. To try to keep this winning going and you know carry it on into the playoffs so we're going to go straight on into the game and um, taking on the colorado rockies as you can see the rockies are 36 and 22 so they're playing really well so we're going to really have to stay on top of our game if we're going to beat them hopefully with the uh, being at mile high hopefully i can Hit a few home runs and get ahead really early and kind of have a cakewalk through this game. Let's give the folks at home a look at what's happened in the first two games of the series. Yeah, a real nail biter here last night. You can see it. Here's how the uh, last two games have gone. We lost both of them. So we're going into this third game with uh, trying not to get swept. Just going to take a look at my lineup. We got Peter Borges leading off. He's only hitting 187. Really got to get these guys going. We got Colton Wong at second. These guys, they just you got to start hitting. As you can see, there's another look. Okay, well, that's Milwaukee has won. So they're tied with this Pittsburgh. Looks like they lost, so they're gaming half back. Really want to keep this going through the All-Star break. You know, finish at the All-Star break in first place would just be awesome. But here we are in the third. There's nothing really happened in the first couple of innings. Got Randall Gritchick up in the third with a 2-1 count. Here's the 2-1 pitch. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Nah, they're going to say he went around. And this brings up a uh, kind of a dilemma. I've got Gritchick here. And I've got to make a decision on Matt Holiday. There's Gritchick. He's going to line that. That's going to get down. That's going to be at least two. But I got a big decision to make with Matt Holiday because he's making around 10 to 13 million a year. I've got around 17 million available in a cap, not cap space, I'm thinking football, but uh, in my budget. And I got to try to sign Hayward after the year. So I've got to make a decision. Um, Holiday is 35 years old. And by the way, here we got Wayne right up. He's gonna try to bunt, that looks horrible. But uh, I got Holiday, he's got two years left on his contract at about 10 to 13 million a year. He's 35 years old and his ratings are coming down. He's like at 79, maybe an 80 right now. So ends up Wayne Wright strikes out. So I got a runner on second for uh, Borges with a 3-1 count. He's going to hit a deep fly ball. But like I'm saying, got Holiday with that two years left on the contract with 10 to 13 million. I've got to decide, do I want to hang on to him and risk not having the money to sign Hayward? 
So if you you know if you don't care, make a comment. Let me know what do you think. Should I keep Holiday? He's 35 years old. He's got two years left on his contract. Should I keep him, pay him 10 or 13 million a year, and then take the chance of not having the cash to resign Hayward? Now here goes Wong. He's going to hit this deep down the left field line. Oh, and he's going to drop it. That was a. I thought he was going to catch that. Ends up he's going to drop that. That's going to score a run. So we're going to be up on the nothing. But the question is, keep Holiday, 35 years old, 10, 13 million a year for the next two years, or do I try to trade him, try to get a younger outfielder to take his spot? I really need a center fielder big time. Need somebody that can produce in center field. Uh, but do I keep Holiday or do I let him go, trade him, and then have that cash available to try to sign Hayward? So if you want to, you know, please leave a comment, tell me what you think. Because I like to listen to y'all. I mean, I've listened to y'all on trades. There's Holiday. Look what he's going to do. Okay, he ends up that's caught. Wow, thought that was going to get down. That was a nice catch. Our Gonzalez out there. Ends up we're going to go into the uh, bottom of the third with a one and nothing lead. But uh, it's, uh, you know, I like listening to y'all. I like hearing what y'all have to say. Like, if you remember, I actually took one of the viewers' advice on the trade for Simmons, my shortstop. And uh, that turns out to be a great trade. He's so good defensively. But here we are, you know, it's, the, it's now it's the 14. We've got a 2-2 count on Blackman here. That's over to Wong. Oh, whoa, Wong's just, he's doing that a lot. It's weird how he is mimicking real life. Juan has been having some trouble throwing, and he just goes and does it right here. So now they got a uh, runner on first, 0-2 count on Dickerson. I'm sorry, Lemayu. 1-2 count. Juan going, I wish I wouldn't have made that throwing error. Ooh, that's high in the strike zone, but ooh, luckily he bails us out. That was high and outside, and he bailed us out on that. So here we got Tulowitzki. But yeah, leave your comment. Tell me what I need to do with Holiday. Should I keep him or should I send him out? There he goes. Tulowitzki's going to line that up the middle. He's going for third game. Ah, he's going to get in there. So now they're going to have runners at first and third. One out for Corey Dickerson. Wayne Rutt's really got to get out of this. Oh, that, oh, I could have swore Simmons was going to have that. How's that go under his glove? That's going to end up scoring a run. So now we're tied up one-to-one. One. But if you, uh, if you look at my center field play, you got Jay and Borges. Yeah, Borges is great defensively, but he isn't hitting anything. Jay's kind of struggling. So i got to make a decision. Here we go. That should be a double play. Nope. So he's going to make it to first. Still 1-1. One, one. Runners on first and third. Two outs. Justin Morneau up. And that's going to be another single. So now we're going to be down 2-1. to one. But I got to make a decision. You know, I really need center field is my weak spot. I need a center fielder. I hate it, but Scotty, he, he doesn't have all the outfield positions. There we go, and there's another hit. We're going to have to throw, well, we ain't going to throw this guy out. That ain't going to happen. So, man, now we're down three to one. But I was hoping, I was thinking if I traded Holiday. Then I'd have Piscotti to put in left, but Piscotti, his only other alternate positions are first and third. So I can't use him in left field. So I'm going to have to either trade for a left fielder or a center fielder. That ball's going to get by Molina. And that's going to be a run scored as I throw it down a second. So that isn't good at all. So now we got two outs, four to one. All right, so I'm finally going to get out of the inning. But I'm down four to one. But I got to make a decision. I got to trade for a left fielder or center fielder. 
Or do I go and try to trade Holiday, trade Jay, maybe trade Borges, throw in I got a lot of uh, prospects, be potential outfielders, try to get a uh, ML, MLB ready uh, left fielder and center fielder. I might try that. Just uh, leave your comments. Let me know what you think I should do. But I really see the center field is my big weakness and then making that decision. But really nothing else happens. We end up, we do get a run back. We're going in here to the eighth. Got Borges up. We're down four to two. We got to get, get something started. Borges is going to try to get on here with a bunt. And luckily, that was a horrible bunt, but luckily they kind of booted at second. So we're going to get Borges on first. Now we got Wong up with a one-two count. So we're going to have Borges. He's going to steal second. But I really like the overall make of my team, except for my center, center field. You know, that's the only place that I really wish I could make a change. And Wong's going to end up hitting at the third, first. I'm sorry, hitting at second, getting thrown out at first. So now we got a runner on third. Got one out. And here comes Holiday. And what's bad is Holiday, other than Hayward, has been my best hitter. That's the only thing I hate about it. But at 35, he's only going to go down. So we got this runner on third with Holiday up. Definitely looking for something down in the strike zone. outside it's all right we got a 2-2 two -two count here now the two -two. Late swing, but he's still able to get a lot of that's going to be a deep fly ball and he will get down there all right so that's going to score a run holiday should get to second see the guy just keeps hitting and here i am talking about trading but you know he's 35 years old and he's got the, and i really need that money i do not want to miss out on hayward but another thing I do, I don't want to do, in order to get a good young center fielder, is I don't want to have to give up any of my starting pitching or any of my starting pitching prospects because I've already done that when I was getting uh, Sano, and I just really don't want to do that again. So I'm going to have to get a reliever up here. Yadier Molina will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Going to pinch hit. All right, so we got Molina is going to pinch hit here. That's the only good thing about having the Molina sitting, you know, you got a good pinch hitter off the bench. But we got one out, got Holiday on second. It's a 4 to 3 game now. 1-1 one, one count. Oh boy, that would have been great if that would have been fair. Really got to guard the plate here. Ah, uh, Molina's going to go down on the strikeout. That is not what I needed. So now I got Sano up here with a 3 2 count. And he's going to strike out. So I end up blowing that opportunity. Down 4 to 3. Man. So at the, going into the bottom of the eighth, I'm down four to three. Definitely got to hold him here. Going to put Seth Manus into the game here. Got Nick Hundley up. Two two count. And this happens. Swing and he puts a charge into this one. High and deep. And you can't forget about it. This ball is gone. That is not what I needed. Oh, that's just awful. Matheny agrees. Hunley just blasted this thing. So at the end of the eighth, end up we're down five to three. The Rockies don't do anything else in the bottom of the eighth. So we're going into the top of the ninth, last at bat, down five to three, needing two runs. 
They're going to bring in the Troy Hawkins. I mean, this guy's old. If you want to talk about so, I think he's like 42 years old. So here's Simmons with a 2 2 count. He's going to strike out. They're going to have to throw him out at first. Now I got Tony Cruz up, 2-2 two -two count. Little dribbler to short. Now I'll throw him out. So now I got two outs, down 5-3. to three. This is not looking good at all. Now we got Grichik up. Got a 3-1 count. Definitely a hitter's count, so hopefully we can get something done here and get a little rally going. At least tie this game up. And he goes and misses that. So, well, actually, a foul ball. So we got a 3-2 count. Another foul off. He's definitely hanging in there. Foul another one off. So that's three foul um, foul tips in a row. So Gritchick's going to end up grounding out the second. We're going to lose this game. So that's going to end up putting the Brewers a half a game in front of us in the National League Central. But uh, like I said, you know, help me make this decision. Holiday's 35 years old. Do I keep him for two more years, 10 or 13 million a year? Risk not having enough cash to sign uh, Hayward at the end of the year? Or do I go ahead and trade Holiday so I can free up that cash? When I also, I need a uh, young center fielder. So what I, what I need to do? What I need to do to fill my center fielder spot? And what do I do about trying to have the cash to sign Hayward? But uh, ends up, as you see, we lose that five to three not a very good game for me at all not very good definitely would like a, to have had a better game than that as you can see Nick Hunley gets player of the game I'm really having a lot more fun with this my St. Louis Cardinals franchise so there'll definitely be some more in the future and they're going to get really good trust me I've played ahead a bit it's going to be some great games and some great things happening. So please stay tuned. Uh, I've got that and Road to the Show coming. But thanks for all the viewers and subscribers. And I'll see y'all next time.